In this lesson, we will learn how to fetch economic and business data for analysis. Data is an important element for decision making. In business and economics, the importance of secondary data is very high compared to primary data. Primary data is your original data that any company or organization collects for the purpose of analysis. This is the first hand information. Secondary data on the other hand is the past data. It is the data which was used in some previous analysis. We can also extract past data from other organizations. Young students always find it hard to reach to the reliable information and compile relevant data. The data archives in online and on campus libraries are maintaining gross information. And for students at foundation level, it is very hard to filter out information which do they really need. I always advise my students for online archives. And some of most reliable resources are IMF World Economic Outlook Database, CIA World Factbook, and uh, Index Mundi is also a popular source which derives database from different reliable sources. There are also a number of other online solutions, but for this lesson I will keep my focus towards only these three. First of all, let's go to Index Monday. So, www.indexmundi.com. The Index Monday site. On this site, the valuable information is available and there are different parameters. Most of the time, we want to know about our countries. So, let's suppose we are uh, interested to find about UAE. So we will click here Middle East, scroll down to United Arab Emirates and then here we have different parameters like we have demographics, government, geography, economy, energy, telecommunication and so on. Click demographics, population here and this is the information about the Populations. This information is also uh, fetched from CIF World Factbook. So, population by year chart, population rank chart. Let's click population by year. Here you can see this is the table which provides the numerical value, and here we have the graph. A steady growth rate of population from year 2000 to 2006, and then there is a sudden jump from almost 2 million to more than 4 million and this is during 2006 and 2007 and then again there is a constant rate of growth and this information is still 2012. So from here we go back. Here on this page you can find one link CIA word fact book. So you just click here. to CIA word fact book. This page also provides valuable information and like country comparison of the world, we can simply go go down and we can find lot of information. So the best way is to use this search function and here we have countries, go down and we go to United Arab Emirates. Here we have different information about UAE, geography, people and society, government, economy, energy, communication, transportation. So we click economy here and then we have the information about the GDP, gross national savings and so on. So there are different economic indicators which are shown here. Another source is the IMF website. So imf.org here on this side, if we go to data and statistics and in this section there is a word economic outlook database. So if we just click here, here we have information available in chronological order. At top we have latest information which is 
World Economic Outlook Database April 2013. So I click here, here you can find different filters. I would prefer to go by country data. I click here and here we have the journal categories of countries group like um, for Middle East and North Africa, Afghanistan and Pakistan. I just click here and here we have the name of all these countries which are included in this group. So first of all clear all selections because they are selected and I am only interested in let's say United Arab Emirates. So I click here and then press continue. From here we have different economic indicators and you can choose one or more than one. For example, if I come here gross domestic product constant prices, select this one and press continue. Now here we have uh, the information that could be included in our report. I am only interested in data. I need the time period for example from 1980 till today which is 2013 and then prepare the report. Click here. Here is your report and this website has compiled a report in Excel format for you. Simply click here and open it in your Excel. Click yes here. Okay. Now this is the report and uh, you can find the data. It's the long data from 1980 to 2013. The problem is that this data is arranged in two rows. I need it in two columns. So I'm going to uh, select this, then control C or you can press copy here and click the cell where you want to insert this data. Here there's a small triangle. You just click here and you can find the drop down menu and from here paste special and press transpose. Click OK and you can find now this information which was arranged in row formats now they are shown in first two columns. Since I am interested in only in data select this these two columns control C and go on the new worksheet and control P and these are the years and here we have GDP and uh, from the information on back side here we can find that this GDP is uh, the base year is 2000. So we can also add here GDP and in bracket we can say base year 2000 so that this will give us the, an idea that this is real GDP. Okay. Now here select all cells and there is one button here format table. Just click here and choose any one of these. Uh, let's say I select this one blue color and this shows the data range. You can also change it by clicking this button. You just select this entire. It is already selected but just for the sake of explanation I am reselecting it. And then click here again and my table has header. If you have selected these two headings so must check this button and if you are selecting from second row then there is no need. Click OK. Now this is the table. After bringing this data into the table format just click anywhere on this table and then go to insert. Here we have scatter diagrams. So just click here and choose any of these. So here you can say we have a nice diagrammatic representation of real GDP of UAE. So if you want you can also change it. Now when you select this graph you can find here if you select this arrow button you can find different formats which format is most appropriate for your analysis. So here I am interested in making the forecast 
and I want to know the trend of this G real GDP. I would be interested in these two formats. Let's suppose I click here and this is a straight line. Uh, this is a straight line. This is known as trend line or this is called linear regression line. And this line is going to give me uh, some information that there is a positive increase in real GDP of UAE from 1980 till 2013. And if I want to forecast because this information is till 2013 and I need to know what would be the GDP or expected GDP in 2015 say here. For that I just click on any of this point right click here and then here there it is shown add trend line. Click this button and here we have different options open for you. Normally if you look into this scatter diagram, scatter diagram means these points. So there it shows a linear trend means straight line trend. A straight line is best line which can uh, cover this movement. So if you see here in this dialog box we have two uh, links one is forward and one is backward. So just click here and you can see 2013 to 15 mean we want to increase another three points uh, sorry two points click here here you can also display equation on chart and uh, if you want to set the intercept and display r square value on chart here you can see now that the information is covered till 2015 so in 2015 we can estimate the real gdp would be almost it will be close to uh, 700 if i if i select it again and i click here on this arrow button and select on this equation this is layout 9 so i click here and you can find that we have the same graph but additional inc information which is the regression line and r square and it is given automatically no, what is equation and what is R square? The R square mean the goodness of fit. Goodness of fit mean that almost 88 percent data is covered by this straight line, which is moving right in the middle of this data. And due to this less variation, the R square is very high. In simple words, if R square is close to 1, like 88 percent or even 80 percent, this is considered goodness of it and that that particular line is the good measure of a trend. No, y is equal to 17.256x minus 34083. I am going to apply a function so up equal press equal sign and then write this equation 17.256 multiply by x so press multiply sign and then for the value of x x mean these years so I just click 1980 so click this cell of 1980 and then there's a minus sign 3 4 Zero eight three, and click enter. So using this equation, I can find out all the values on this trend line. And if I calculate the error, error mean the difference between this blue line and red lines. Let's click apply another function equal sign original value of GDP minus this estimated value, and click enter and you can find here the difference. But here if you see for example at this point in 1980 the gap between red line red point and blue point is very high and in 1980 GDP is not properly represented by this uh, trend line and you can see the difference here which is 122.069. 
Whereas if we come to 1985, so gap is very less and see in 1985 here, the original value is 199 and estimated is 170, very close. So 29.23 is the error. So some errors are positive, some errors are negative. So total area under this trend line and total area above this trend line should be same or almost same. So negative and positive values, if they are same, then sum of these errors should be equal to zero. So if you see, go down to this data and click here and write equal SUM sum bracket starts and then you just all this data here, select this data, click enter and you can see almost 29.0, it should be zero. If we can manage to manipulate this data statistically and find the trend line where R square is almost above 90 percent or close to 1, then you can find this value will be reduced to almost 0. So in short, we can use Microsoft Excel for the estimation and for the forecasting and to find out the trend on any business or economic data. So I advise my students go to these websites and just fetch any data like population, GDP, inflations, exports, imports and do a couple of uh, practices so that you can understand how to apply this tool. So that's all in this lesson. Thank you very much.